Guide Dogs for the Blind was started in 1942 as a veteran organization to serve blinded World War II vets. At the time, there wasn't a lot of services available to people who were blind or visually impaired, and there was a lot of blinded vets that needed assistance. Now we serve people in all 50 states and Canada who are blind or visually impaired, both vets and civilians alike. Our mission to change people's lives with visual impairments, so that can be a lot of things, so it can be a mobility tool for them. It opens a lot of doors for them as far as social interactions. A lot of times when you have a cane as a blind person, it's not a conversation starter, and a dog can really open those doors to people wanting to interact with you, and it can really change the lives of those individuals, and then also what opportunities that they have in their life. It really expands their whole horizon. I feel very fortunate to have a well-trained dog like Forley. The confidence of traveling through an unfamiliar environment, um, knowing that there's a dog there who is assisting by avoiding unforeseen obstacles is, is amazing. As a guide dog mobility instructor, my job is to train both the dogs and the people, um, so teach our clients how to work with the dogs. So we have volunteers who raise the puppies from the time they're eight weeks old until they're about 14 or 16 months old. They teach the dogs their house manners, they teach them basic obedience, they take them out in public, so they take them to school, to work, to restaurants, everything to give them a really good foundation to be a guide dog. Once the dogs are about 14 months old, they will come back to one of our training campuses, either the one here in Boring, Oregon, or our other campuses in San Rafael, California. All of the guide dog mobility instructors teach them the guide work skills. So we teach them a little bit more obedience, but then the guide work part is teaching them how to pull into a harness, how to stop at elevation changes, so curbs and stairs, to look for obstacles like tables and pedestrians on the street, and also overhead obstacles. So anything like a tree branch or something sticking out that could hit the client in the shoulder. Having a guide dog is a lifestyle. You have this dog that's trained to assist you, but it's also like having a friend. These dogs love unconditionally. They're just really great to have around. One of the most important things about our organization is that although it costs $100,000 to support a guide dog team throughout their life, the cost is free to the client. And to do that, we rely on generous donors. We really couldn't do it without the generosity of, of individual donations and also organizations that get involved with ours. If someone is looking to get involved in an organization that makes a huge difference, if you want to be fulfilled, if you want to really see what your either your donation or your time or your skill set does, you will see this in action. You will have something that you will take away. I have received more than I've given to this organization, and I would say that when people give something to this organization, time, money, that you'll receive something back. And you'll you really are making a huge difference in someone's life to be involved with our organization.